Ken Surf's here, and we're back in my brother Mike's man cave because he has another addition uh, to the man cave, the Game of Thrones limited edition. And somebody, I'm actually going to give a little bit of a pinball 101 here. A lot of people ask, hey man, how do you find deals on pinball machines? And, you know, there's the usual Craigslist, or you can go to a Pinside, which is a, a, a site online. But what happens is once a month in Anaheim, California, they have an auction house called the Captain's Auctions. And old arcades that are closing down or people that are wanting rid of their collection, they bring their machines to the Captain's Auctions and uh, they, they sell them or you can buy them. The auction house is kind of cool and I'm going to take you there in a few minutes because that's where this came from. The auction house is pretty cool. You can go in at like nine o'clock. It's on a Saturday. You go from nine o'clock to 11 and everything's set up and you can play for free, try out all the machines, note all the imperfections, and uh, you can bid on them. The bidding starts at 11 in the morning, sometimes goes till midnight. My brother had sold two of his machines, Whitewater, which he got from TNT Amusements in uh, Philadelphia, I believe, and uh, Theater, of Magic, Theater of Magic, which was a complete restore. So there were two original machines, all restored, he sold them to buy Catwoman, and he was going to buy a Game of Thrones limited edition from a gentleman who lived up in San Jose. And I think the gentleman wanted 7,500 for the Game of Thrones. Uh, when my brother finally got around to making the deal with them, the gentleman had sold it. So my brother lost out. But at the captain's auction, this machine showed up. It was a little bit dirty, but uh, my brother put a ridiculous bid price on it, and he ended up getting it for like $2,300 less than he was going to go up to uh, San Jose and pay for this. So it's actually restored now, but, and I'll show you it. But then I'm going to take you back, and I'm going to show you some of the captain's auctions, and then me and him lugging it out of there and uh, bringing it here and setting it up. So this is kind of a setup video and kind of a look at uh, how he obtained this particular machine. So let me show you it now. I'm gonna take it off the tripod and we'll show you what she looks All right, like. so here is the machine and he actually has went through and cleaned this up. It came from a private collection. So, uh, what is it, a three-year-old machine, Mike? Yes, 2016. 16, a three-year-old machine. Is that this machine? Yeah, Does it think it's midnight? No. <laughs> well, that was an unexpected, uh, an unexpected uh, scene, but here we go. So he has cleaned this up, and again, came from a private collection, but it was really dirty. So he happened to clean it up now. Some of the rubbers he replaced with a clear uh, translucent rubbers and put on the new flipper bats. But this machine was pretty dirty. In fact, you're gonna see it while it was at the auction house. And again, he put on a bid price and he thought, hey, I'm not gonna get it. And they go, hey, hey, he called me up and says, I think I won. Game of Thrones limited edition. So actually he sold his two machines and he ended up getting two new machines. And it is in really nice shape. You wanna do a gameplay? Some people are like, do a quick gameplay on that, Mike. House Motel, House Greyjoy. Got the upper play field. Oh, and a drain. But that is that is uh, some play on that. Now, later in the video. I'm going to show you what he's done to this. 
But until then, let's take you back in time to when this machine arrived. All right, well, believe it or not, when we went to pick this machine up the following Monday, in the background, playing over the loudspeakers was loud music, so I couldn't have that. Here's my brother checking out the uh, certificate of authenticity, proving that the machine, uh, you know, is the limited edition. It was signed by Gary Stern, the uh, owner of uh, Stern Pinball, and like I said, loud music playing over the background. If you use that, uh, if I left that music in, I would not have owned this video anymore. The copyright would have went to whoever wrote that song. So now we fired it up to make sure the machine is working. You don't want to pick up a machine from an auction and then it doesn't work. Uh, but so far, so good. It's firing up, everything tested out good. So now we can load this bad boy onto the back of his truck and we can take it to his man cave for setup. So thank you, uh, forgive this little voiceover, but again, uh, loud music playing. I always forget, you always say, get a picture of them when I loaded them in the truck. Yeah, put it up on freaking. Uh... Put it on Facebook, today's haul. Yeah. So those are the new leg bolts? Yep. Very good. And then you make your own cut. This time we have the longer gold bolts going on because uh, with the yellow spacers, and these are powder coated factory and stern, very nice on the LED. Because the other bolts are a little bit shorter. So that way when you use the pin gull cups and everything and the spacers, they don't quite have the clear. You're gonna snug these, I don't wanna snug them. Okay. 
one of the guys asked me, is that your little brother? I was going to be a smart ass and say, no, that's my older brother. But I know that you would have got pissed. <laughs> cleaning. Do a little cleaning real quick and then some game. How are we doing on the foot so real quick? Oh, we're right in. Let's see about uh, side, side to side. Yeah, it just needs a little cleaning. Right. One owner, now it's yours. All right, fire it up. Three, four. What's the latest? Uh, I have to look. 1.6, I think. Is it set at free play still? It must be. Yeah, it is. Certificate signed by Mr. Gary Stern. No, that's not for you. Move. 218. Okay, let's lift this bad boy. See what's under the hood. Did this light up? Yes, it did. Watch out, Ozzy. Move. Oh, if he knocks that glass over. That'll be the third. Third one broken. Stay off of it. Piss off. Oh, you might want to take the balls out. Well, hold on. I'll just grab it. Look at that. Nothing like the original manuals and... That was just all in the back, huh? Yep. Might be more stuff under here. Can't tell till we lift it up. And drop your balls. Oops. 
Very clean underneath. Oh, we each switched this from the door. Plus, that's the way it came. That's how you do all your tests. That must be the way it came. Because you probably had a dollar bill changer on it. Maybe? I don't know. Mm, not sure. Here, let's get some more light in there. There's the shaker motor. All in all, in nice condition. I'll get another coin tray. Just because. We gotta strip the whole play field though. Yeah. Let's use this to test. But that's time consuming. Well, the only thing you gotta get rid of is this kicker rubber, because it's a little dirty. And maybe these flipper rubbers here. Because the ones up here are the good ones, the transparent ones. These ones are not. But they might be original. I'm gonna feel that. that my brother has put on his Catwoman premium edition that he just picked up last month. He put the side, what do you call them, side guards, Mike? Yeah, the Batman armor. The Batman armor on the sides. Now this type of armor comes on the limited edition Batman, but he had a company custom do this. And you can really tell here. You can see the, uh, it's powder coated with this glitter in it. And the company put on the new labels, put on all this new. Powder coated the legs. There's the Batman armor. He's got the flashing lights in there. And, oh yeah, the Catwoman edition. Now he also, put on the side art because even though this is a premium edition it did not come with the Batman side art so he put that on went on pretty easy Mike yeah it went on pretty easy and that is the modified Catwoman and the last thing is I'm going to add this but I'm gonna have Julie Newmar sign it for me He's gonna send this one because the one that came with, that was autographed by Julie Newmark, is actually Batman. But uh, he's gonna send this to her website and see if she'll autograph this so he can put that on there. Oh, very nice. A villain behind bars where he belongs. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again in either Mike's Man Cave or mine. Till next time, it's Ken Surf saying, have a great night. All right.